What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're keeping safe and well. If you are a returning subscriber, it's good to see your face again. If you are new here, my name is Reese and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you would like to learn more, please press that red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Okay, so it was lovely to get back out last weekend and do some fishing. Three months away from it makes you realize how much you miss it, especially when that first fish came in the net. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link up here somewhere for you to go and check it out. But today's topic is sink tip lines. So one of the questions I occasionally get asked is, when do you decide to fish a sink tip over a slow or a fast intermediate, for example, or a floater? Sink tips for me personally really come into the fore from spring and summer onwards. Now you could fish a sink tip line all year round if you want, there's nothing stopping you doing it. But for me personally, I tend to find that I'm fishing either nymphs, buzzers or cormorants using these sink tip lines. And that can be either fishing them straight as a team of three or fishing them on a three fly cast with two droppers and then a buoyant fly on the point as a washing line. So where a sink tip can really excel is if you're trying to fish nymphs, buzzers or cormorants up in the top few feet of water but fishing them as slow or as static as possible. So with that in mind, let's have a look at three sink tip lines that I use and would recommend to anyone. And before I get started, I just want to preface this by saying there are many sink tip lines out there. I haven't tried them all. I use these three and I've got confidence in them, which is why I'm recommending them to you. So let's start up in the highest bit of water we can. The Airflow Slope Tip. It is the go-to line on Chloe Dog from spring onwards. This is one of the older models, but Airflow have come out with a new range, which is fantastic. This is a 12 foot tip, which sinks at 0.5 inches per second. So this is perfect if the fish are just ever so slightly sitting under the water column. It is a fantastic line. I think they come in at 70 pounds, so they come in at that mid-market price. Jeremy absolutely loves this line. He uses this everywhere he goes. The line itself is 105 foot with a 51 foot foot front head. The first 12 foot is turquoise and then the running line after is blue. So if you need a sink tip that works a lot like a hover where it keeps the flies just below that surface, this is the line you want to buy basically. Okay and then moving on to number two. So this yellow line here, everybody knows what this is. This is a Rio Midge tip. Not a new line, it's been around for years but with good reason it stood the test of time. The Rio Midge tip is a three foot head, so relatively short, and it sinks at 1.5 inches per second. So that's sinking three times as quick as the Airflow Slow tip. So a really good choice for fishing nymphs and buzzers, for example. So what the Rio Midge tip does really well is that it's got an aggressive front. So what that means is, is that if you've got a heavy wind, for example, but the fish are still sitting high and you just need a line to pull those flies down a little bit, this is what you're gonna to want to go to. The line itself is a yellow running line with a three foot clear tip. And I think it retails for about 75 pounds in the UK. So this is a go-to for me if I'm primarily fishing nymphs, either straight lined or on a washing line. I have managed to wrap two of these around an engine before now and ruin them. And that is painful when you think about the fact you're spending 75 pounds on a line, but, this line has stood the test of time. It's one of the oldest around and with good reason. So if you're looking for a line that sinks a little bit deeper, have a look at the Rio Midge tip. Okay, and then moving on to the new kid on the block. This olive line here is the FNF Sneaky Tip the fast version. So FNF came out with these lines about two years ago. They've got a vast array of these sink tip lines, more so than any other company has. And you can be guaranteed that they are quality because they've been thought about, they've been produced by someone who competition fishes. And unlike these two lines, they're very bright and there's nothing wrong with them being very bright. This is far more subtle. And you might find that your fishery, if you're fishing on fish that have been fished on a quite a bit, and are necessarily quite sneaky, that the subtle olive colour like this will help. The line itself sinks at 1.5 inches per second, which is the same as the Rio Aqualux, but it comes in 13 pounds cheaper. So it is slightly different as well in terms of the tip length. This has a five foot clear tip at the end. So you've got, in essence, a five foot tip, a three foot tip, and a 12 foot tip. You don't need all three of these sink tips. The purpose of this video is to give you an idea of what's out there, what's within your budget and what works best for you. So like anything, it's all preference. If you are, say, a competition angler, you've probably got all of these lines and if you haven't, you know that you need to get them. But if you are just a day ticket angler who wants to buy one sink tip line, 
any three of these will do. And it's just a case of all working out what fits in your budget, what brand of fly line do you like, and what color do you like, for example. So I hope you found this video useful, guys. If you would like to learn more about fishing the washing line, have a look at this video here. And YouTube seems to think that you would like to see this video here. So thanks for watching, guys. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. My name is Reese. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.